What's up, what's up, what's up, everyone, and happy Thursday. I hope everyone is having a great day, a beautiful day, and a blessed day as always. So let's go ahead and get into this message so that we can get right and stay right. So whenever we, um, whether um, we're working or whether we're, you know, having our own business, whether, you know, we're just out here seeking and trying to reach whatever your goals are in life. Um, what happens is a lot of the times our focus is so heavy, right? On the things and the goals um, and the dreams and the visions that we are trying to make into reality, as well as on top of that, Sometimes you may be a person who is, you know, so helpful to the people around you as of um, maybe just um, motivating and encouraging, always helping, being a helping hand, being um, a voice for other people, right? Trying to uplift other people. And through all of these things in life that I know most, most of us tackle on each and every single day, Oftentimes enough, people really don't focus on themselves enough. And what I want to first and foremost say is whatever that thing, that goal, um, the vision, the job, whatever that thing is that you are chasing, whoever the people are that you are constantly helping, you have to make sure on a regular basis that you are not just pouring out or putting out, but that you are also receiving and filling yourself back up because the end result of you not filling yourself back up is you ultimately becoming drained as you ultimately get into a point to where you know you feel like you have to just completely stop it all um and feeling like you just don't have no longer have the energy for anything because you have focused so much time on the thing or other people and you have focused less attention on yourself but I'm here to remind you that God also made you the goal because I feel like too many people spend so much time on the bag being the goal or just, you know, reaching whatever the goal is or reaching a certain promotion to a job that you're working yourself to death, that you're, you know, pouring out to other people so much that you forget and you neglect yourself. And again, if you continue to do this, you will eventually run out of gas. Like, it's the same for a car. Like, you have to continuously fill your car up with gas or it will stop running. You will not be able to no longer go. Your car will say, listen, I'm going to eat. I'm empty. You need to refill me in order for me to drive. The same goes for yourself. You need to constantly fill yourself up with whatever it may be, mentally, especially, um, emotionally, and just overall refilling, recharging your own self every single, well, I'm not going to say every single day, but more often than enough that you have to continue to do this so that you won't be a person who runs out of gas, so that you don't be a person who overall gets drained two more times than, than you would like to admit to where you might end up sick because you have drained yourself of all the energy that your body ultimately needs you to put back. And again, we're going back to the fact that God made you a goal. Listen, the goal is for you to be your best self. The goal is for you to ultimately be who God wants you to be. So in order for you to get that, you have to constantly work on yourself. You have to constantly take time for yourself. You have to constantly focus on yourself. Like minding the business that grows you, not only the business that pays you, but you got to, you got to also mind the business that grows you. So in order for you to do that, always work on refilling yourself, always work on receiving instead of just giving, always work on doing whatever it is that you need to do to make sure that you are becoming the person that God wants you to be, making sure that you are also focusing yourself as the goal. Because like I said, God made you the goal. So let's not only be focusing on other people and their business or the business that pays you, but always be focused on the business that is going to grow you. 
So listen, I hope that this message has helped, encouraged, motivated, uplift anyone who it reaches. And as always, let's be motivated, but most importantly, let's stay inspired.